He said, hi, Debbie, this is Punchy. I said, wow, I'm not here for you long time, Punchy. Where, um, what happened? He said, where JR are they? I said, I left JR home. I said, why? What happened? What happened? He said, JR get killed, JR killed. I, um, La Vista del Mar, he said, uh, um, I'm going to um, identify the body. So I said, wow. I said, I was shocked. I said, I will come down right now. I'm going to catch the bus. And I'm coming down. So I said, as soon as he left from the morgue, he's going to call me and tell me what happened. You know? And he called me back and tell me it's him. So I just, you know. Miss Debbie, give us the history of your son. He's dead at 15 years old very young, a, a, a life that hasn't really even experienced what it is to grow up and, and see the world. What happened? He was a cool, cool guy. He don't get trouble to that, you know, just that he does not listen and he not talk. You know, no mind how I ask him, you know, what, you know, he just serious and he just don't talk. He don't tell me what, what's happening, you know. No matter, I tell him, I want you to go back to school. He don't want to go back to school. He said, he don't want to go to school because they are going to kill him. They are going to for him. So I asked him, why? He said, he just tired of talk. He tired of stuff. He part of that jail. He just give up. He don't have nobody, only me. I know you've tried with him. Very recently, you made an attempt to get him into a program where he could have gotten into something meaningful. Talk to us about that. Well, I wanted to um, get him in that, that program, but the, the situation that happened in here, I said, I want to get him out of Belize. I want to get him to the States, but he will not get a visa if... If you know, go to school. So, but I want to get into the program, and as you get into the program, I will take him to for a visa, and I will get him out from here.